Dr. Mike Natter. I'm here at Board Vitals today to talk a little bit about the Internal Medicine Question Bank. I was going to discuss one of the questions with you today, so let's jump in. A 19-year-old Caucasian female presents with abdominal pain, lower GI bleeding, and diarrhea. Biopsies obtained on colonoscopy demonstrate evidence of ulcerative colitis. Which of the following lesion features is expected under microscopy? Answer choices are A, transmural inflammation, B, aphthous ulcers, C, mucosal inflammation, or D, granuloma formation. This question is really asking us if we know the differentiation between Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. So just a quick review, ulcerative colitis and Crohn's are both going to present with diarrhea. However, ulcerative colitis will most likely present with a bloody diarrhea, whereas Crohn's usually more of a crampy, voluminous diarrhea. Similarly, in UC, we expect the rectum to be involved, and we expect there to be a continuous um, mucosal involvement in the rectum all the way up um, through the colon. However, in Crohn's disease, we accept, expect to see something called skip lesions. In addition to skip, skip lesions, we're going to see transmural lesions, meaning all three layers are going to be affected, which often can lead to fistulization and granuloma disease. In that case, given the answer choices, there's only one that fits the UC depiction, and that would be mucosal inflammation. The transmural inflammation, the aphthous ulcers, and the granuloma formation are all characteristic of Crohn's disease and not UC. I'm Mike Natter. I hope you enjoyed this, and join me again for another question.